You are a very proud father. You were at Augusta. We saw you in the crowd. And uh, you were here yesterday when he just shot 62. Uh, it's just been wonderful, hasn't it? It has. I mean, yesterday he's just keep seemingly keeping it going. I keep wondering when it's going to run out, but happily it hasn't. What was it like to, to be there for the Augusta victory? Oh, Pat, it's, what is it, seven or eight months ago and it's still a bit indescribable to me. I get still get a bit uh, emotional thinking about it. But certainly, clearly one of the happy golf days of... of uh, my time and something I'm not going to forget, that's for sure. I sat down with him on Wednesday and had a long chat with pieces of the interview we've been using through the telecast. I think he got a little emotional too when I mentioned the family and, and what it meant to everyone in the family for all the years of hard work. Yeah, I guess it's all of that. I mean, that's certainly, from the family point of view, that's right. But I guess also we're a golf family, so we're just like every other golf lot in Australia. We've been watching it forever, thinking when's someone going to win it, and we just lucked in and it was Adam. And what about this? What about the run he's been on here? You've been with him. I know you travelled a little bit with him around the world, but, yeah. boy, have you seen a run like this? Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, we just need to bottle it, don't we? Whatever he's taking, we need it. Well, what's he been saying to you at night about the way he's playing? I mean, even you said yesterday could have probably been a little better. Yeah, it could have been. I mean, I think he's just in such a good mind space at the moment and feeling confident and just letting golf happen and, you know... Sometimes that's a great thing, you're just not getting in your own way. You know more, better than most because you coached him for so many years, didn't you? Yeah, and I think uh, I, that's what I see. I mean, the last week or two I've thought probably he's not swinging the club as well as he could um, without being critical, but his mind is just letting him play well. And that, that's the strength that uh, confidence brings. Well, it's been a pleasure to stand around and watch him and we've got a, uh, he's got a weekend's work remaining, that's all, before he can have a decent Christmas. Yeah, and I think he's going to be really putting his head down for this weekend. This is, he would just love to win this and finish off. I think there's uh, a few more. There's several thousand out here that have braved the elements would, would agree with you. Phil, thanks for talking to us and uh, congratulations from everyone that loves their golf on, on what you've produced. He's a, he's a wonderful ambassador for the game. Yeah, thanks, Pat. I obviously think he's a good lad, but I'm very proud of him for a lot of reasons, so thank you.